following the Somiel offensive, the second division was lent to the French Fourth Army under General Henri Gouraud. Gouraud's plan was to attack and seize the Blindmont Massif, a ridgeline overlooking Sompy and the town of Rennes. The goal here was to push the Germans back to the Aisne River and loosen their grip on the left flank of the American offensive into the Meuse Argonne. On the 3rd of October, the 2nd Division assaulted from the former German trench lines outside the village of saint and General Lejeune came up with a novel attack plan. His battle plan was to split his two brigades and bypass the Bois de Viper, which sat in the middle of the battlefield. 3rd Infantry Brigade would be on the right-hand side, and the 4th Marine Brigade would be on the left-hand side. And they would bypass the Bois de Viper on the way north to the Blaymont Massif. And as they did so, French tanks and assigned companies of Marines and soldiers would turn inward and would take the Bois de Viper from the flanks. This successful and very effective combat tactic paired with a rolling box barrage that advanced just ahead of the lines of the Marines and soldiers put the Germans on their heels and after just two hours of combat by 8.30 in the morning, the Blaymont Ridge was now secure. The next day, the 5th Marines would take over in the attack. They would attack north with the goal of pushing the Germans out of the village of San Etienne and then pushing the Germans beyond and over the Aisne River. The 5th Marines advanced into heavy German fire into what became known as the Box. They were surrounded on three sides, even taking fire from the rear from holdout Germans along the Blaymont Massif. This became the bloodiest day of the war for the 5th Marine Regiment, with casualties nearing their totals for the Battle of Bella Wood. So if you want to learn more about the Battle of Blaymont Ridge, the final battles in France for the Marines, come see us here at the National Museum of the Marine Corps.